Held him long there on that start. Good start by Shu and Murphy. Iria is always clean in the water. He's got the second fastest time in history, only behind Aaron Pearsall. Of course, he did that back in 2009 during the high tech, high tech suit era. He's down there in lane number seven. Lane three right now has a slight lead. That's right off of Russia. Makes the turn. Pebbly will now be off to his left as they head back on the next 50. Ryan Murphy in lane number five. Ryloff looking very good right now. He has got almost a body length lead on the rest of the field. Again, as I said, he has the fastest time, 153.8, coming into this field, and he is really using a little bit different strategy. In the semis, he was out in 56.4. Guess what? He's out in 54.5. Almost two seconds faster, Ryloff is. Everybody's going to have to come off the play at pace, including Shu, who was out that fast in the semis. Tie for second right now. Well, that's where Ryan Murphy and Klesnikov are running it. But it is all about Yevgeny Rilov right now of Russia. The bronze medalist in Rio has the lead, but did he go out too fast, Rowdy, as they get set to make the turn for the final 50? Well, we've seen it happen over and over here in Budapest. Sometimes they get caught, sometimes they don't. You saw Shoystrom get caught. You didn't see LeClo get caught. He's definitely going to come back to the field. Now here comes Ryan Murphy. He's right there to the left. He's chasing him down. You know Ryloff's going to start tiring. This was where Murphy was so good in the semis, coming home that last 50. But is he going to run out of room? That's the big question. Ryan Murphy, lane number five. Does he have the time to do it? Ryloff with a big surge here. Not going to get there in time. It'll be Ryloff getting the win. Murphy will claim the silver. And third to Pebbly. So the Americans go two and three. Boy, Rowdy, I'll tell you what, what a finish by Ryan Murphy. He just ran out of space as Ryloff gets the gold in Budapest. Well, he's backed up what he's done all year long. He's been so consistent. He went that 53-8 back in April, went his best time to put him himself in here now. Look at this turn right here. He slowly built this lead. No doubt you can see him. He's right there in lane number three toward the top. Great underwaters. He might have the best underwaters of anybody in this field. Here's the last turn. Watch, watch it right here. That's the second turn, actually. But he built that huge lead at the halfway point. And and that was a difference. He was about two seconds ahead of everybody else in the field. Here's the third turn. The second half was where Murphy started to make his move, and he's done exactly what he's done over and over in his career. He came home. Here's no dying in Ryan Murphy and Jacob Pebley. Look at Pebley go by. Both of them doing a great job. There's Pebley right there. What a tremendous job he did when coming home. Right there at the end, another five meters. He would have gotten him. Ryloff held up until the end. Murphy follows up the bronze in the 100 with the silver in the 200. And Pebbly grabs the bronze. Great swim for the Americans there.